Hello everyone, I am back with another NXTG tutorial and today we're going to be moving away from the common palette today. It's kind of baby stuff now, so we're going to move on to something else. So if you go to the bottom of here, you're going to see these three tabs. I want you to tap the middle one with the three coded blocks and BAM. What do we have here? This is the complete palette, so you got to see we have so many more options to choose from. And as I'm going through this, you might recognize some blocks from the common palette, and this is the entire common palette right here, so this is exactly the same blocks as this. But today, we're going to be going over one of the first blocks in our new set right here, and it's the action panel. And it's going to be this mortar block here, but didn't we already go over move blocks right here? I mean, this, I mean, what's the difference point between this and this? I mean, it's just moving the motors, right? But... This motor block has a special case, you see. It can only control one motor. So, if I try to click B, it's going to go away. If I try to click back to A, B is going to go away. Now, most of the stuff I discussed before, like port, direction, power, next action, and duration, what I want to go over is this action, control, and this weight thing right here. So, as you can see, you have three options with the action thing. You have ramp up, ramp down, and you have constant. Now, what the ramp up will do, if I pick ramp up, motor A is going to gradually increase the speed. So, it's not going to be 75. It's not going to be at the power of 75. It's actually going to be at a lower power, and it's going to gradually increase its speed through the period of run rotation. Okay, let's make it five. So during the period of five rotation, it's going to gradually increase its power until it reaches 75. Ramp down means it's going to start at the power of 75, and it's going to gradually, the power is going to gradually down, die down after five rotations, over the time of five rotations. And constant is just regular motor, just no, no additives, nothing, it's just regular. Over here, we have the control motor power, and what this will do is, when I check that box, Okay, let me just give you a situation first. Okay, let's say your robot's running in like a competition or at your house or whatever, and your robot seems to be slipping because there's water on the floor, or maybe, I don't know, maybe a wheel hit a wall for a second and it kind of threw off your rotation for a bit. Well, that's what this motor power control there is for. It compensates for any slipping, any mishap, any um little imprecision in your motor whatsoever. So it really makes it useful when every single feet or centimeter or millimeters, whatever you want to call it, actually counts. So that's when the control power is actually going to come in. Now, as we discussed before with the weight, the weight for completion block, remember with the sound block, remember with the sound block, if you check the weight for completion box, you're going to wait until this finishes before moving on. Well, it's the same concept. When I check this box, and let me get a move block here. When I check this box, A is going to move for 5 seconds and then CB is going to run for that wrong rotation. However, if I don't check this box, it's going to run A and immediately at the same time, it's going to run C and B. So it's a little bit more way to control it. It's a good way to keep control over motors. Now you can put two at the same time if you want. Uh, remove the control. Okay, okay, wait for completion's gone. And then you can also put one for B. Do you realize that wait for completion is gone once it's unlimited since once it's unlimited it can immediately move to the next block. So you can precisely control two motors at the same time by just having two separate move blocks. And just lastly, because this one's really really simple, it's a it's a lamp. It's a color lamp. So if you're on NXT G or NXT Mindstorms 2.0, the newer version you're going to get a lamp along and this triples up as a light sensor, color sensor, and a lamp. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. And really, I'm not going to discuss this. Just pick your port, whether you want to turn it on or off. And you're just uh, whatever colors you want. I mean, it's really straightforward. There's nothing complex about it. I guess that's about it in terms of the little motor right here and then the lamp lock right here. So thank you guys for watching this. I will be moving into an advanced concept in the next video. Okay, I hope you see you guys there. Thanks.